The Space Shuttle main engine nozzle on display at the Coca-Cola Space Science Center made a total of nine trips into space between October 1992 and July 1997. This particular nozzle was flown on four different shuttle orbiters. Three times were on Columbia, two on Discovery, three on Atlantis, and once on Endeavour. The nozzle itself is 10 feet long, almost 8 feet wide, and weighs almost 1,000 pounds. Including all test fire, development, and launches, it was fired 39 times with an overall engine burn time of 5 hours and 16 minutes. The Space Shuttle's three main engines operated for 8 minutes and 40 seconds for each shuttle flight, with a combined output of 37 million horsepower. At their full power, that was equivalent to the output of 13 Hoover dams. The combined pumping capacity of all three Space Shuttle main engine turbopumps could drain an average size swimming pool in 28 seconds. During engine operation, the temperature in the main combustion chamber reached 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Since this is hotter than the boiling point of iron and could vaporize steel, a method of keeping the engine nozzle from melting had to be incorporated. This was accomplished through a process called regenerative cooling. The regenerative cooling system uses the space shuttle's super cold minus 423 degrees Fahrenheit liquid hydrogen fuel to accomplish this task. A series of 1,080 one eighth inch in diameter cooling tubes line the engine nozzle. During flight, a portion of the fuel is first circulated through these tubes before it is directed to the combustion chamber. In the process, heat is exchanged between the engine nozzle and the propellant raising the propellant's temperature by over 400 degrees Fahrenheit and cooling the engine nozzle by the same amount, all in about two milliseconds. The nine missions that the nozzle flew were STS-52, STS-57, STS-51, STS-60, STS-66, STS-71, STS-75, STS-81, and STS-94. The STS-71 Atlantis mission in June 1995 is particularly noteworthy as it marked a number of historic firsts in human spaceflight. The 100th U.S. human space launch conducted from the Cape the first U.S. Space Shuttle Russian Station Mir docking and joint on-orbit operations, the largest spacecraft ever in orbit up to that time, and the first on-orbit change out of a Space Shuttle crew. U.S. astronaut Norm Thagard returned on this flight from his nearly four months on board the Russian Mir space station.